Hello you guys, it's Elsie. Welcome back to my channel. Today I have the new Bath & Body Works spring collection. Some of them I did purchase like maybe two or three and the rest I already had. But I'm still going to talk about them. So let's start with the video already. But first subscribe to my channel, like this video, comment down below, follow my Instagram. And let's start with the video already. Okay, I'm going to start obviously with the new, they're not repackages. So I'm going to start with this one. This is Among the Clouds. There's even like the perfume version of this and everything. So this one has Wildberry Skies and Whipped Vanilla Clouds. Pretty simple and honestly, at first, when I first sprayed it like from the cap of the store, I couldn't smell really anything, but then I decided to purchase it anyway. So I was wearing this one throughout the mold that day. I even blocked about it, I think, so maybe that video is already up. But I received compliments, like literally at the mall. I received multiple compliments, maybe for um, three people at least. And I guess it's a compliment getter because it actually smells way better once I'm wearing it than straight up from the cap. And that usually happens with a lot of fragrance mist. So I'm so glad I gave it a shot because it actually smells really, really good. Honestly, it's not the most original fragrance mist, like... This literally reminds me of Buttercups and Berry Bellini and I feel like this year I realized that even if I didn't grab like a backup of Bar Buttercups and Berry Bellini, I feel like they always make something very similar to that specific fragrance mist, you know what I mean? This one to me smells really similar to that one, maybe except like without the Prosecco fizzy vibe that Buttercups and Berry Bellini has but the rest of it like smells very similar it's that berry scented like a sweet berry fruity scented fragrance mist like the vanilla it's not like prominent like vanilla like straight up vanilla fragrance but it's there to make it like really really sweet yeah it smells like another berry scented um fruity sweet fragrance mist and I love it like I can have like a million of berry scented fragrance mist and it's actually like I said a compliment getter so I'm happy with this one I'm gonna keep it I got it with my reward like I had like three rewards so <laughs> that's that's what I use to get like the new ones so. okay so next we have sun blooms and suede which is this one I'm obsessed with the packaging of this ones like they look so elegant so this one has white raspberry pink petals and vanilla cream I freaking love this one like it smells so good the only complaint that I have about this one is that it's so freaking light on me like I don't know how long, but if like maybe 30 minutes, like let me know down below if it lasts on you. But on me, it is freaking light. It smells really good. It smells like, it has like the straight up raspberry, but it's like a fruity, tropical, very, very, very creamy and sweet type of fragrance mist. This is my type of fragrance mist. Like I love anything that smells like tropical and beachy. This is my type of fragrance mist and I really, really think that because of the pink petals in here that makes this whole fragrance so beautiful. Just like very sweet and creamy and fruity but the pink petals in here it's giving that creaminess like I'm 100% sure and I feel like it gives like the hint of floral and delicate and girly and feminine. So I really love how this smells so I got it for free with my reward so I am gonna keep it but just know I've been spraying this so much like it's literally up to here already and I mean I just got it so I got a feeling that I'm gonna finish this one this year so without same line I think there's this one this is cloud nine so I didn't pick it up because I already have it love this packaging as well and I love the new one as well it's just very very classy but this one has lavender breeze morning dewy drops and cozy amber honestly I feel like with one it's enough and I also love this packaging so I don't need the new one also I don't love it like i like it but i'm not obsessed with it i remember pretty well having this thought last year when they came out that it didn't last on me at all let me know down below if it does with you i smell like the lavender like a very soft lavender with a hint of floral it's just like so fresh for the spring like 
I feel like it reminds me of like the air coming through from like spring and spring is my favorite season so I really really like this it's kind of like out of the shower like you smell clean like it's a good one to even go to a gym like it's such like a pretty curly fragrance mist and I feel like just one it's enough not crazy about it especially because it's very, very light but i do really, really enjoy this one that's in collection i actually didn't pick that up it's indigo dreams i think i'm gonna put a picture i couldn't smell it that's it like it had no freaking smell I put the notes right here on the side but i just couldn't smell it i sprayed all over me i sprayed on the cab i'm like I cannot smell anything. I don't even want it for free. So let me know down below your thoughts on that one. Can you smell it? Just tell me. I just want to know if you can smell it. Because I've seen a lot of reviews online. But people are saying the same thing that I'm saying that it doesn't smell like anything. Some other comments are saying that it smells amazing. So I'm confused. Okay, I almost forgot about that one. But yeah, it's in the same collection as that one. Now we're going to move on to this collection. Which I'm going to start with Beautiful Day. And this packaging it is absolutely stunning. And it has sunkissed apples, sparkling cassis, wild daisies, pink peony, and fresh woods. So I also love the packaging for this year. And in fact, I love the color of it, you know, but the fascinating collection is just like kind of repetitive, but I really, really love the color of that. And I freaking love this one. Like, I love the smell of it. It was like straight up, like, out of the shower, girly, just smell clean. It's like apples, but so beautiful. The daisies, the peony, like, it smells like apple, but it has, like, a very beautiful floral, wet floral into it. And I love that. Like, I love when they combine floral with fruity because it's just not, like, straight up fruity. And that's it. Like, it has, like, a very girly almost out of the shower very fresh very refreshing scent to it obsessed with the scent like it's one of my favorite retired fragrances and i'm so glad they brought it back but i really really love this one if i make it like a good dent i might grab the one that they have at the store right now all right next with that's in collection it's pastel skies this packaging it is beautiful but the one from this year it's okay like i feel like i prefer this one more but this one has soft cut berries, pink spoon sugar, and coconut musk. Like this is like the more grown up, I guess the mature, put together sister of Borwak Toffee, in my opinion. It's like a very musky, sugary berries with like some sort of sweetness. So instead of the vanilla that Borwak Toffee has, it has like the hint of coconut. So it makes it like more musky a little bit creamy this one goes very well with my body chemistry and even if it's musky which i don't love very musky fragrance mist i really love this one how it mixes in with my body chemistry like i love it on my actual skin it's like very feminine very girly and if i make a good dunk on this one as well I may grab the new one. So sugary and so sweet and so beautiful. And with that same collection, we have Fiji Sunshine Wabatini, which is this one. So this one's actually from 2020, and I actually have a backup from last year because it was on sale. I think it was from last year. No, actually, I think I have the backup from 2021, so I don't need the one from this year. This one has Sunkissed Wava Fresh Orange and Sea Salt Jasmine. I feel like this one smells absolutely gorgeous for the entire summer. Like, it's kind of like summer in a bottle. Very tropical and just like very fruity and sweet. It smells like a tropical drink for the beach. Just like a cocktail, like a fruity cocktail. I love also that it has the jasmine in here because it balances all of the notes out. It's just not like straight up like a fizzy, fruity drink, which it's they're not my favorite. I love when it has... Like some sort of like floral note to it that's gonna balance all of the notes out without being too like apicnaceous, you know? So I really, really love this one for the spring and summer, but I already have this one plus the one from 2021, so I don't need the one from this year. Okay, so lastly, I got the new strawberry pound cake, which this is a packaging and it's always so pretty except for the fascinate one like i haven't gotten that one but so far i'm working on the one from 2020 which this is a packaging but yeah it is from 2020 so i couldn't resist it so that's why i got this one with 
one of my rewards but it has fresh strawberries golden shortcake and whipped cream so they're the same notes but for some reason i feel like this one's a lot lighter than even the one from 2020 i haven't compared them with the ones from 2021 and 2022 because i got like two more as backups so i really didn't need it this one but since i love the packaging i was like you know what let me just get it i was already there but i don't know i feel like it's kind of light let me know down below your thoughts on like they obviously smell the same it smells like literally strawberry pancake like we all know how it smells it smells like strawberries vanilla pure cake strawberry cake but i don't know i feel like comparing them like side to side like this one was a little bit lighter than this one so let me know your thoughts on that one i'm gonna return this one or exchange it i mean it was a reward so i'll probably have to exchange it for something else they let me because i'm not sure how that works with the rewards but i really didn't need it this one because i already have two more all right you guys so that was pretty much it for the new bath and body works ring collection thank you so much for watching don't forget to subscribe to like this video to comment down below and let me know your thoughts on the new ones so follow me on instagram and i'm gonna link my deep account down below also my tiktok and just everything else i really hope you enjoyed this video and i really hope to see you in my next video bye